Olympian Marin Espoli is the world number three. Uh, what more can you say? Team Gold at London 2012. And Alessandro Paoli, uh, he's the youngest member of the team at 21 and took the uh, a bronze medal at the Courage Grand Prix earlier on this year. They have to be the absolute favourites for sure. Yeah, they're the higher rank coming in as well. Italy ranked third, Indonesia ranked sixth. So on paper here at this tournament as well, they are the higher ranked team. But, you know, this is head-to-head -head competition and anything can happen. Well, let's go down all the team introductions. Well, here we go. Third quarter final here at the last Olympic qualifier in Paris. And it's Italy who will shoot first up against Indonesia. The lineup for Italy Federico Musilesi, Maro Nespoli, and Alessandro Paoli. It will be the world number 29, Alessandro Paoli. I think they've got a yellow cards. So the judges asked him to return to the behind the waiting line. He has to take his arrow out of the bow and then he can come back again onto the shooting lines. They've lost a lot of time here. They've got two minutes in total for these six arrows. <laughs> oh, managed to salvage a 10 note. An eight for Miss Lessi. Close. Called as a nine in stadium. Spiller starts Indonesia with a 10. What a beautiful shot. Astiadi also into the 10. Just two into the nine, so a 29 and a halfway point lead for Indonesia. Lucy making some big changes there. Nespoli finishing things off with a 10 for a 54 for Italy. Indonesia on for a 59, so bags of room here. Nine. 
looks like they've changed the order here, Indonesia. That was uh, Prastiadi with arrow number four. Shot second in the first yeah. rotation. Yeah. And here we've got Sal Sabia, who's, uh, who shot first and is shooting last in the rotation for Indonesia. And I'll tell you what, whatever changes they've made in the order, it has worked. They finished with a 58 there. What an impressive start from Indonesia. Yeah, it really is. I mean, they can change that team rotation as they want to. So as long as each archer shoots one arrow per segment, so three per segment, um, yeah, you can change the order as you want to. And, you know, that's their strongest archer. So he started off, um, led the team out, and then he came into the second segment to, to finish up. So, you know, they've obviously worked through their tactics and they know what's going to make them the strongest they can be. They certainly have. Look, Italy, we've... Uh labelled as favourites. They still are the favourites here. You would expect them to go through, but Indonesia are shooting great here. And Nikki, you keep telling me, uh, correcting me when I say, ah, they're the favourites, they're going to go through. You keep saying that knockout, the knockout format uh, really doesn't favour anyone. It, anyone's got a chance. Yeah, it's so open. It really is. You know, you've just got to be on form. It's, it's so short. It's a sprint now. Um, so you've just got to go out the start gate. And for Italy, what happened there, they went out on the line too quickly. The buzzer went off and they stepped over the line too quickly. The judge gave them that yellow card. And I think that just disrupted that first set for them. Um, you know, it just gives you the, the raising heart rate. And, you know, it just upset them, I think, a little bit. So let's see if they can settle down now and get back into a better rhythm in this second set. There is the judge in question who handed the card to Italy. Eager, you could understand. This is for a spot at the Olympic Games, which are coming up in just a few weeks' time. This really is the last chance saloon for these archers. Italy, a shaky start. Indonesia leading by two set points. Italy will shoot first in the second set. They really need to get right back into this. Possibly eating into Italy's time there a little bit as uh, we've got to look at uh, Paoli making some adjustments to his site. And it's a wow, shaky start again, 25 at this level and up against an Indonesian team in form. And they already have put this one at risk. Spear leading them off again. Senior pulling it out to the right. Oh, <laughs> they don't need to shoot that arrow. They've finished their segment. <laughs> Bit too keen to get back on the line. Oh, so both teams have shown <laughs> eagerness to the extreme. A little bit of Bo Kondo going on there from Paoli. Eight. 
it's another eight, I think. So they finished on 49 out of a potential 60. One dropped arrow from Pangestu in this set so far. Down into the six. Sees them on 25. He's recovered that to an eight. When I say that, that's, that's him coming out now. In fact, uh, that was Prastiadi shooting the eight for a 33 so far. Beautiful shot. Salsabir. A seven puts this to bed. He gets a nine. Absolutely fabulous stuff from Indonesia. They've won that set. Uh, look, it's only by three points in the end, but they have won it and they go four set points to nil up. And the way that they're looking, Nikki, Indonesia could do this in three sets. Yeah, they certainly could. Um, so, you know, what, what happened there is he, they went back on to do another rotation. So in the earlier rounds of the team round, that's normal. You'd go out and you'd shoot all six arrows in one go. You just keep rotating round. And only in the finals here, we go into the, the alternating three segments. So they're just on autopilot, which is a good place to be. You know, that's when you shoot in subconsciously and things are going well. So, yeah, they, they've been really strong here and doing what they need to do. Solid unit so far. Avianto Prastiadi, 17-year-old Arif Angestu, and a Rio 2016 Olympian Rial Salsabia. On paper, the weaker team on the shooting line, they have been stronger today. Italy will have to win this set clearly to uh, take or keep their chances of Olympic qualification alive. There's a little bit of, uh, well, calm I, is probably the, the politest word to use on the Italian team. They're trying to keep their nerves at bay, but they really need to up things here. Alessandro Paoli stepping up to the shooting line. It's just not a good enough start, I'm afraid. Just puts pressure on his uh, teammates. Federico Musilesi here trying to maintain his composure. Just go through the same process as he does when he's practicing at no. home. No. doing his job. A little bit of movement there, but Salsabia getting his 10. Got a good look at Arif Pangestu as he was preparing for a shot there, trying to stay calm. Eight. That's shooting eight, so halfway stage, and the two teams are all square. Nikki, that's all the Indonesians need, isn't it? Yeah, if they tie this set up, they will take the match. So Italy really got to hit the gold here. Nine. No.
Well, perhaps I should have said they really should have hit the 10 here <laughs> before we hit the well, 9, but it's from. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you're saying that, that is a 54, so it is a little bit of pressure on Indonesia. Oh, but when Alvianto Prastiadi shoots the fourth arrow into the 10, it really does settle things down for the 17 year old here, Arif Pangestu. Going through his process, looks nine. calm. That's on the line, but it is a nine. So on a 46 here, an eight is enough to win. And up steps the big man, Real Salsabia. Again, a little bit of movement. Eight. He's got the eight that he needs. That's a 54 apiece for me. And I think that's one set point well, each. Which means Indonesia have won it by five set points to one. We have to wait for confirmation. But as you can see, the coach applauding his team there. And uh, hats off to the uh, coach as well. Just reminding the athletes to put their masks back on as they finish up. Part of the protocol that has allowed archery to take place. As things start to ease around the globe. As you can hear the uh, stadium announcers saying, look, we've got to wait for confirmation of the scores here. Is there anything there, Nikki, that you thought might uh, need to be measured? I don't, I don't think there was. I think they all look pretty clear cut uh, from what we saw. So I don't think we're expecting anything different. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you see the Italian coach there, or the Italian uh, agent, I should say, pulling the arrows target judge has measured everything up and it is official Indonesia have taken this five set points to one who needs a favorites tag Italy I, I, you've got to cry for them a little bit here Federico Musilesi, Mara Nespoli and Alessandro Paoli just weren't at the races in this match against Indonesia and Indonesia march on into the semi-finals of this last qualifier for the Olympic Games here in Paris. Brilliant. Uh, what a team. And, they, and they're kind of nurturing that 17-year-old in Arif Pangestu as well. And that the order, which is a little unusual, uh, seems to work really well for them. Yeah, they just looked so calm, didn't they? Ready for it. Nothing really phased them throughout the match. And they just stuck to the process. And uh, yeah, there was just nothing there that you know, with, with, won six, didn't they? But other than that, they just kept them really, you know, well within the gold, a couple of eights maybe. But yeah, fantastic performance.